What's going on everyone? Welcome back. This is Joe from Joe's Barbell Service. Last time I showed you how to disassemble, clean, and reassemble the sleeve of your barbell. Today I'm in my garage and I'm gonna demonstrate to you what I call the two-week tune-up. It's an investment whenever you purchase your own barbell. So after you put the money down, you wanna make sure that you protect that investment so it can last you many years. When using your barbell, it is really easy for there to be a buildup of chalk, dirt and debris, even dead skin and blood. These buildups can ruin the finish of your bar by oxidizing and turning into rust if left untreated. The main spot of this buildup is gonna be in between the knurling, which is the cross hatching on the shaft. So even whenever you wipe down daily with the spray and a rag, that rag is gonna be unable to penetrate and remove buildups from in between the knurling. That is why I recommend to do the two week tune up. Doing this will keep your barbell looking and feeling fresh. What you're gonna be needing today is some 3-in-1 oil and Blaster Multimax. I like using these two products because they're widely available at pretty much any local hardware store. It's inexpensive and very effective. You're also gonna need a short, strong bristle brush, something that can get in between the cross hatching on the bar. If you have a chair coat or zinc bar that is coated, you want to make sure you use a nylon brush. If you use a brass brush or a stainless steel brush, it will scratch that surface and mess up the coating, chipping it away and eventually ruining the look of your bar. You only wanna use a brass or stainless steel brush if you have a bare steel bar, a stainless steel bar or a chrome bar. Third, you wanna have a microfiber towel or a old t-shirt, something that doesn't leave any lint behind. Fourth, you're gonna need a cardboard box for protecting your floor. Just lay it down just in case anything drops to ensure your floors don't get messy or messed up. And fifth and most important, a pair of gloves and safety glasses. All right, so I got the 15 kilogram fringe wonder bar right in front of me. This has not been cleaned in a while, but first thing we're gonna do is take our nylon brush, short, firm bristles, and what we are going to do is scrub in a diagonal pattern of that the knurling is in. So we'll start by just scrubbing down any chalk or dead skin that might be in between the knurling. Again, we're gonna go in a diagonal pattern because the goal is to get in between the knurling. Now, depending on the condition of your bar, if it's super dirty, you might want to wear a mask just to make sure you're not inhaling a bunch of dirt or dust particles while you're doing this. And Again, right here in a diagonal pattern, getting any of the loose chalk or dead skin off of the bar. And as you can see, just by scrubbing it down, we've already cleaned off most of the bar. After that, we're gonna grab our three-in-one oil. We will then put a thin coat on the knurling you can rub it in. This is why I wear gloves too, so it doesn't get my hands all messy. I'm gonna rub that oil in. After you rub the oil in, you can put the three-in-one oil down. You will grab your brush again, and same process as before, scrubbing in a diagonal pattern of the knurling. The oil will not ruin the barbell. It will actually protect it, especially once it dries up. It acts as a protection coating that will protect against corrosion and any oxidation. So after you put the three-in-one oil and scrub it down with your nylon brush, you will then grab your microfiber towel and wipe down any chalk or dirt, debris that you have gotten off of your bar. As you can see, now, depending on the condition of your bar, if you still are unsatisfied and haven't gotten all the stuff out of the bar, you can do it again one more time until you feel like you've gotten the majority or all of it off of the bar. Once you feel like you've gotten all of the chalk and debris out of the knurling, we will then grab our three and one oil one more time. And what we are going to do is apply a very thin layer on the knurling
Now, instead of wiping this thin layer off, we're gonna let it sit for a couple hours. Whenever it dries up, it will protect against corrosion and oxidation. It pretty much adds a extra protection layer on the shaft of your barbell. Once you're done with the shaft of the bar, we are gonna move on to the sleeve and get rid of any dirt that is on the outside of it. So I have a portable rack. I'm just gonna scoot this in to where now the sleeve is free and I'm able to work on. Essentially what we're gonna be doing is the same process that we just did on our sleeve. So you're gonna take your brush, you'll scrub down, removing any loose dirt, debris, or chalk, whatever that might be on your bar, getting it out the way. The sleeve of the bar, you'll notice that instead of running diagonal, it's just straight up and down. So usually what I'll do is scrub side to side. That way I can get in between those small little crevices of the sleeve. See, just by doing that, most of this dirt and debris is gonna come off if you're keeping up with your bar. I like to wipe down the end cap as well. That way everything looks nice and clean. And you can't forget about where the shaft enters the sleeve. This is where all the dirt and debris from the knurling will enter the bar and get into the sleeve and affecting the spin. If you feel like the sleeve of your bar needs more work, just like the knurling, we are going to put a thin layer of three-in-one oil. You can rub it in on the sleeve. Once you rub in that oil, same process of scrubbing it up and down in an up and down motion, getting in between those crevices. Then I also like to get these little shoulders of the sleeve that stick up. And there you go. After you're done scrubbing, grab your microfiber towel or old t-shirt and wipe it down. All right, so now that we're done cleaning the knurling and the sleeve of this bar, now we're gonna start talking again about the bushings and what's inside of the sleeve. So every two weeks, I recommend to put a little bit of three-in-one oil inside of the sleeve. And last time I showed you how to completely take the sleeve off, today and for your two-week tune-up, that is not gonna be required. So you can still oil your bar without having to completely disassemble and reassemble the sleeve. So you're gonna grab the bar, take it off the rack, you're gonna stick it inside of two plates to where it is standing vertical. From here, you're gonna grab your three-in-one oil. If you're doing this consistently every two weeks, you don't have to put much, just very little in order just to keep nice lubrication throughout the inside of your sleeve and it doesn't have to be super overloaded to where if you're storing them vertically, it's gonna be leaking out of the top. What you're gonna do is grab your three-in-one oil. You're gonna put very little right here on the crease where the shaft enters the sleeve. As you put it in there, you wanna start rotating the shaft to make sure it gets all inside the bushing. Now, if you're an Olympic weightlifter and you want a super fast spin 100% of the time, you can then grab your Blaster Multimax and you can add a little bit on top of the three-in-one oil. Again, you don't need much. That is all you're gonna need. Definitely not more than that, maybe a little bit less. As it's sitting there, you wanna just rotate it around the sleeve, spin it around, that way you make sure it's getting all inside the bushing. As you're rotating this and you get done, 
you want to just let it stay vertical in this position for about 10 to 15 minutes to let the lubrication sink from the top all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve. After about 10 to 15 minutes passes, you can turn the barbell around and then proceed with doing the same thing with the opposite end of the sleeve. After you've let you, your bar sit for 10 to 15 minutes, you're gonna grab your microfiber towel again and you will just clean off any excess oil and lubrication that is around the bar, just like so. All right, and that is pretty much it with the barbell for the two week tune up. This could be done in about 10 minutes. So it doesn't take very long. It's not a huge or long complicated process. Quick, 10 minutes, easy, we'll get the job done. Just be sure after each workout, you're still continuing wiping it down with your rag and whatever spray you have. If you sweat on your bar and you go without wiping it down after each training session, especially if you have a coated bar like zinc, the zinc will wear and fade pretty quickly. So the process that we did with oiling it today, where we stood it up vertical and put some oil and let it seep down, you wanna be cautious on whenever you're storing this. With that process, if you store vertical, the oil and lubrication could leak out, which will cause you to have to maintenance your bar more frequently. It's not bad for the bar. If anything, it's good for it because it'll, again, give it that extra layer of protection but it will still just require more maintenance over time because your bushings aren't gonna be as lubricated. With that being said, you wanna make sure your bars are being stored horizontal. If you're limited on space, it is okay to store vertical. Again, you will just have to maintenance your barbell more frequently. The two week tune up are for those who are consistently using their bar. If you do not plan or if you do not use your bar as often, you can kind of get away with not doing this as consistently. But if you're an everyday gym goer, you have your hands on the barbell at least every other day, make sure you're doing the two week tune up to keep your bar looking and feeling fresh. Also remember that whenever you do the two week tune up, you generally wanna do it at the end of your training session or at the end of the classes that you are conducting or coaching. The bars can be a little bit greasy and slick whenever you get done, which is fine. It will dry eventually and give it that protection layer, but you wanna make sure you have some time to let it dry. If you try to pick up the bar immediately after doing the two-week tune-up, it could be a little slippery. If you need to use the bar after the two-week tune-up, just be sure you get a rag, wipe it down as much as possible. All right, guys, that is the conclusion for the two week tune up. If you don't feel comfortable with doing this process yet, or you just don't have time to do this on your own, contact Joe's Barbell Service, and I will drive out to your location and do the job for you. With that, this is Joe from Joe's Barbell Service, signing off.